Before I show you how to build and customize an AI workflow, let me show you what mine can do. Maybe the best way to extract dopamine from our audience is to make our videos feel closer to a high budget sci-fi series rather than a YouTube video. Now, thanks to my mother chain smoking like a freight train when I was a baby, I don't have a lot of creative brain cells to work with. And that's why we are starting things off in Pinterest. We're gonna start by typing in the word creative, followed by the word our video topic is about. And here are all of the ideas we can feed off of for references. I always like to grab more than one. Now we're gonna go to Imagine Art and click the Workflows tab. Now this is by far one of the most productive AI tools I've used and is called Workflows. It basically lets you build out a system that generates videos and images while maintaining consistency. You don't have to switch between three or four different tools to get your end result. You just have to build out your workflow with nodes. So to start, I'm gonna click Create New Flow. Now keep in mind, once this is set up, it's built forever and you can invite a team to the project so multiple people can work on it at once. As you saw, these can get really complex if you want them to, but if you stick to the basics, it's really simple. On the left here, you can see a plus button. If we click this, you'll see we have the option to add a prompt, text, image, video, and an upload section. Just underneath that, we have the utility nodes for things like importing and exporting our videos or images. And then we have a magnifying glass where you can search anything or just scroll down and see all the models we have access to, which is pretty much everything. So at a very basic level, a workflow could look something like this. We can start by adding an image node in, and then we can add in a prompt node. We're gonna connect the prompt node to the input of the image node. Now we can add in a video node and connect the image node to the video. And then we can add in another prompt to connect to the video. Last thing I'm gonna add is an export node and connect the video to it. Now, as you can see, if we click on the image node, we can select the model and aspect ratio. I'm gonna keep mine selected on Imagine Art 1.5. This is Imagine Art's flagship model, which rivals Mid Journey and Nano Banana in realism, but it's a fraction of the cost. And then also we can set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. And then if we select the video, I've been getting good results with Kling. Here we can select our ratio as well to 16 by nine. So we can either write in the prompt for our image and hit run, or we can delete this, add in a text node, we can swap this to whatever model we want, and then we can just tell it to write a prompt for us. Then we can write in a prompt for our video, and then hit run. Now on the export node, we have the file type and size options. Once you customize that, we can hit export. Now that's just the very basics. For example, we can create an entire video with seamless transitions with just one image. If I add in an import node, and then an image node, and then switch the model to Nano Banana, we can connect this file output to the image URL input. Then we can add in a prompt. We can write something like show me a zoom out shot of this character with the same environment. Now we can add another image node in, switch it to Nano Banana, connect the output to the input, add in another prompt, and we can describe what we want to happen. Now, keep in mind that this first image is the start frame of our video, and the image beside it is the end frame, but also the start frame of the next video. So as you can see, I have images for a couple different shots here. And so what I can do is add in a video node. Now I'm going to switch it to Kling 2.1 Pro, which allows us to have a start frame and an end frame. I'll set the duration, and now I can connect the output from our first frame here and the output for our last frame here, and now I can add in a prompt. I'm just gonna describe what I want to happen. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the other two frames. So I'm going to add in another video, switch it to Kling 2.1 Pro, connect my first frame, connect my last frame, and then add in a prompt and hit run. Now when you export these videos and put them together, it creates a fluent video. Some other nodes that you can include are filters that apply effects like contrast, exposure, and saturation. And then there's the remove background node that will remove backgrounds from images. It's pretty much just an all-in-one AI tool. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I have an affiliate link in the description and make sure you check out the Black Friday sale. It's a pretty insane deal when you look at the discount and all the unlimited stuff they're offering. Things like Nano Banana Pro, Sea Dance Pro, Kling 2.5 Pro, and Imagine Art 1.5, all unlimited. If you want me to make more videos about Imagine Art and how I integrate it into my workflow, let me know. Like and subscribe, we'll see you in the next one.